Carolyn McEnroe is out at the Coliseum as the second week of rodeo gets underway. Let's go to her for all the excitement. Carolyn, what's going on? environment. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about what's going on the rodeo just over. I'm with the Concha Valley steer wrestler who had the fastest time in tonight's San Angelo Rodeo. Not too far away from Coleman. Between Coleman and Winters, Walt Arnold, nice to have you here. Nice to be here. Thank you. You're actually going to be here through this evening because you're going to go for your second round tomorrow night. Yes, ma'am. We're up tomorrow at 1 o'clock in the perf here. Let's talk about your time tonight. You're the fastest score to you are one-tenth of a second away from being And we're going to try to keep it simple. Hopefully we get a good steer, go fast, and try to get either be 4-2 or better. It's pretty tight coming back in the average, so we can, we got to do our job pretty good. All right, let's talk about what you do when you're not competing in pro rodeos. You're competing in college rodeos. Yes, ma'am, I am. I go to school at Charleston State University, and right now we're in the middle of our second semester of rodeo, so we're, we're almost through, but we have a few more left. What is the difference between competing in college rodeos and pro rodeos? And I know you see some of the same guys. Yes, man, we do. Uh, it is different. Here, it's kind of make it or break it. You need to go fast and win something every time. The college rodeos, it's more of a marathon. At the end of the goal, at the end of the season, your goal is to make it to the college finals, and you got to collect points and kind of be smart and progress through are, the year. Are you using the same horses? Yes, ma'am, I am. How yep. does that work? Different size arenas. Is it good for them to get the experience? It's good. The bulldog and horse I'm riding, she's pretty young. I started her last October. And she's she's come a long ways, and she's made us pretty proud. Are you traveling with the same Hazer? Yes, ma'am. Matt Reeves, he owns the Hazen horse, and he uh, he actually rode you with my dad back and made his first NFR in 2007 with my dad. Let's talk about some of your history and how you got into steer wrestling really quickly. Yes, ma'am. Later in life, after playing baseball and football in high school. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, it was kind of I didn't want to play football anymore. I love football, and we had a great team, and it was fun. But I I didn't want to play in college, but I wanted to stay competitive and compete still because, I mean, I like the, the practice and the compete and the feeling you get and stuff. So steer wrestling seemed natural. My dad was a bulldogger, and so I just kind of carried on. Well, Walt, it's so nice to talk to you, and we wish you the best of luck tomorrow night. We'll all be watching. Thank you. I appreciate it. Walt Thank you, guys. From Coleman. We'll be back with some highlights. You'll see Walt's run tonight and some of the rest of them coming up just a little bit later. Twin Mountain Fence.